Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is San. This is a reading today for Cancer. There are no dates on my readings. I just trust that when the message finds you, if it resonates with you, then it's your message at that time. Um, so Cancer, I've done your reading today with my big combined Animal Oracle and the Good Tarot. I haven't used them together in a little while, I think. Um, so you're going to see a blend of the two decks in your spread today. As well, um, as you can see, I'm in the blue room again. This is uh, my home away from home in a sense. This is Eva's father's house. We come and visit as much as we can, but because he lives a few hours away from us, we generally stay for a while, um, but I still wanna get readings done even though it's not an ideal setup for lighting and such. So the cards will be a little bit washed out, but we're gonna go ahead anyway. And interestingly, Cancer, you begin your reading with this card that absolutely matches this room, the Queen of Air, all this gorgeous blue energy. It's coming through as um, you've recently arrived in a state of absolute clarity, absolute clarity, and um, it's actually coming through as this really fresh energy, like this really clean, crystal clear, clean, like um really pure pure ice i was i heard recently somebody talking about in order to get ice that is super transparent it needs to be complete the waters need to be completely purified the purer the water the more crystal clear the ice is i don't know if that is true or not i thought it had more to do with how quickly it freezes or something like that but We'll go with that anyway, because that's the message that's coming through, um, is that your water, and to me the water is all about the psyche and consciousness, the psychic realm, your consciousness has come into this state of absolute crystal clear purity, which kind of implies that it had been in a state of maybe some lack of clarity the opposite maybe some some murkiness some lack of clarity and you you're just just coming up and out of that now where you're feeling uh it's like it's like it's like breaking up through the water like surfacing in the in a, after having been in the depths for a while and breaking through the surface of the water and getting this big lung full of air just clear and light and anyway that's the state that you're coming in here you know even with all of this swooshiness around her it's like that coming up out of the water right so it's absolutely beautiful and it stands out from the rest of the reading and so it makes me want to say that the all of the rest of the cards are telling the story about how or why you, you're now in this gorgeous pure state so um with the next cards the two of fire, transformation, nine of fire. This two of fire is talking to me about um, that there's, this is that, this is that, uh, maybe that murkiness that had, may have been around you recently because this figure here feels really forlorn and weighted to me today. I'm really noticing that's really standing out. Um, so because of this weightedness, it's almost like having a wet blanket draped over you and wanting to find a way out of that, find the surface again, wanting to resurface up into the crystal clarity again, feeling weighed down. So going in search of um, the the exit point, the 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 um, the answer, the solution, the clarity, going in search of, and and then like I said with the transformation, the nine of fire card out next clearly coming into that clarity like the queen of air this is just the moment of discovery this is the epiphany moment and it's interesting today i'm really noticing because these cards came out together how similar they are um you know they're even they even look to be within the same cave structure so i'm interested in what that's talking about it's almost talking about that perhaps um you know, well, here you seem to be on this solo journey in search of, although there is this draft here that's carrying you or could be seen as a companion. Um, and this one, is this coming in as you and another? Perhaps you, maybe there's something here about, I've been getting a lot in my readings recently 
about almost these parallel, it's like soul family walking separately in separate lives, maybe not even aware of each other, but um, coming into similar answers or similar clarity, meeting the same challenges at the same time, and then coming into the resolution of them at the same time. This could be pointing to that actually, Cancer, that you know, that as you're going through this, that there's somebody else going through it as well. And there's, so there's something there about the two of you going through it simultaneously helps you to get to this point more efficiently, perhaps. Um, but what seems to be coming out about what this is that you're discovering, what seems to be the answer to your weightedness or the or the way out of your weightedness is these two energies here the lizard spirit and the ten of earth the lizard spirit it says dream the world into being so to me it talks about um you know i want to dis disregard the lizard part of it because the lizard gets into the whole reptilian um the reptilian thing which is really low energy and i don't think that that's what we're addressing here, although that could be part of it because, so I'll just stick to what I was going to say. The lizard spirit talking about the dream world or dream the world into being for me, this is talking about coming into an energy of, um, either lucid dreaming, becoming a master of lucid dreaming where, um, you're able to wake in your dreams. And once you've realized that you're awake, you can then um, you, that could be how these answers are coming about. Maybe, um, once you realize you're dreaming, you can use that situation to find answers. You wake up in your dream and then you say, um, you know, let me, let me meet a guide or let me find the answer. And then it appears in your dream. It's almost like a hypnosis. It's like a trance state where you can then access answers and clarity and, um, meet your higher self, you know, just upon request, that kind of a thing. So it's that kind of an energy, but with the 10 of earth next to it, it's, you know, and the, and the parallel here of these, these structures alongside her and then the, the grass or the reeds with this lizard here echoing each other. There's something here about maybe bringing this lucidity, bringing this ability to, um, work with reality or work with energies into the physical realm or at least noticing the absence or the 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 less fluid more solid structure of your physical realm um and wanting to bring in more of this this lucid dream world wanting to combine the two or somehow finding a way to combine the two is what is perhaps bringing you is perhaps bringing you into clarity and then is there something about this parallel journey about you and another perhaps you um searching for solution in your physical realm and this soul tribe individual maybe at the other side of the planet searching for it but finding it in dream state, finding the answer in dream state. This is amazing, Cancer. What I'm seeing here is, okay, so these two cards, these two cards are these two cards. You both find the answer. You find it simultaneously because one of you finds it in through lucid dream or through vision or hypnosis and instantly transmits it to the other who's searching um, for answer in the physical realm, right? It's like assessing your physical life that the, the issue that you're trying to resolve is very, um, connected to your physical realm, issues in your physical realm, like your home needing repairs or your car needing repair, like very physical world matter stuff. But the answer is coming through the dream state. And it seems to be coming through the dream state of your friend or counterpart. And then it and then it instantly being downloaded to you because they found it. Very interesting answer. 
So, um, and then continuing on here with the starfish, the so starfish has a lot of stuff in it. And so the first thing is there's a song. I'm not going to, I'm not one of those readers who can just sing on camera. I can't do it. I'm just not that confident and I don't have a, a singing voice. So, but there's a song a, a, by a local artist here. And I don't believe any of you would ever have heard it. And the lines are, you're just what I needed. Just what I needed. You are my shooting star. So when I saw this card today, I heard those lines and so it could be, it's interesting because like, like I was talking about, there's something about these two. It's like she discovers it in lucid dream state. It's actually a phoenix she's holding. But when she discovers it, it's a star. So it's the, it's the star. It's just what I needed. This one found just what you needed. The shooting star. And so the star is also coming through as the answer, the key the key to your problem or the key to your clarity. But then it also brings in another layer of part of what the clarity that's coming in here for you is very much related to a complete rewrite in your life. The starfish I see as um, a complete identity restructuring because the starfish can regenerate almost its entire body from the tiniest little piece. So I've heard you know, it can have just a bit of its body left or just a piece of its core and then regenerate the rest of it. So it's like, it's like, um, you know, re regenerating your entire identity. That's how I see it. Almost like an ego death, but I have issue with the idea of ego. So I don't say that. I try not to say ego. So an identity rewrite and an identity overhaul, an identity expansion or up leveling or it says um, open to infinite possibilities. So it's like opening into the expansiveness of your larger identity. You know, maybe it's not regenerating the whole starfish. It's starting with the starfish as it is and expanding outwards, you know, to encompass like the entire constellations, realizing that the entire cosmos, all the stars in the sky are also a part of, of your body in a sense, a part of your identity, a part of your, a part of you, a part of your entity. So it's talking about expanding consciousness, expanding consciousness, ex, like exponentially, like a massive leap in consciousness, like from, like I said, one starfish on the beach to encompassing the entire cosmos. So there's something there about that the magnitude of the shifting that's happening for you that is part of what's caused this weightedness or this issue that you've needed to resolve right so and then the brown bear comes in next i haven't seen the brown bear for a while so the brown bear has come to um represent a guide or a, even an ancestor it's somebody stepping in at this point of the reading to, like so that the rest of the cards are a message from this brown bear and the brown bear wants to talk to you about this starfish expansion that you're going through or have been through um so this starfish expansion expansion that you've been through has something to do with it's interesting because now with this chameleon it's kind of tying back to this this lizard spirit, I said I didn't want to talk about the, the lizard or the reptile, but the chameleon coming out next, next to the spider, the chameleon is talking to me about camouflage. Camouflage being, um, uh, you know, because it blends into its background, it's talking about the camouflaged true reality The you know, what is out of view, what is being blocked out of you intentionally by this camouflage but it's falling away. You see all these little bits falling. It's like, it's like it's being exposed. The camouflage itself is being exposed. And with the spider next to it, it's talking about the matrix and the, you know, the spider being almost the gatekeeper or the creator of the matrix. And the matrix is the camouflage. So there's something here about, um, the truth, I guess it's just saying, the truth has been being veiled from you with this camouflage matrix energy. And what's being exposed is the beings, the being or the beings or the energy that has been 
creating the illusion, creating the camouflage there, you know, because the, because the chameleon would blend into the background otherwise, but now it's stepping forward, just like this lizard spirit. This lizard spirit, interestingly, is, you know, it's almost intentionally blocking your access to the lucid dream state. Because, you know, I'm almost seeing these two reeds as a portal point and this lizard is perched there, blocking, blocking your exit like the spider. It's like it, it's, it's, it almost, it's interesting because I'm almost getting this message of like it wants you to reach for it only so that it can snare you, right? It wants you to reach for lucidity or for answers in order to catch you in order to ensnare you. But interestingly, what seems to be happening here with the starfish expanding out to the cosmos is that you've expanded so rapidly and so um, exponentially, in, not in, exponentially, infinitely, exp exponentially, quickly. The leap that you've made has been so massive that it just blew right through their their web you know the web isn't isn't nearly strong enough to contain you in this expansion that's that's unstoppable so you're blowing right past it but on the way through it does it does catch you for a moment it does it does get on you you know you, you got to pull the webs off you right it does get on you and that's what they think this is this weighted, it's like, it's like that's you pushing through the web. And so it is, it is on you and you feel the yuck of it, but you just have to like pull it off and shake it off. I've been listening to a lot of, um, Taylor Swift, my daughter. <laughs> so you just have to shake it off. Um, sorry, let me get back on track there. Cause I'm not going to sing Taylor Swift. I don't know why this reading makes me want it. Like you're, it's like, it's wanting me to sing. I'm not going to sing Taylor Swift or the shooting star song. So you're bursting through. I, I, this has come through the same kind of an energy has come through in other readings as I call it the fear threshold. There's something about this matrix reality, this 3d dimension that as we expand and start to pierce through the veil or, you know, we just get too large to be contained within it, um, that there is like a barrier that you have to pass through that is like a web that, that gets on you. And it's almost designed that way because I think uh, there are a lot of um, beings that bump up against this threshold and it triggers the, triggers the fear or it triggers that yuck sensation. And then they just, they just back off and they, they change their mind and they go back to where they were before. That's what it's designed that way. So, so that most will bump up against it and then just return to their, their complacency, return to their place within the, the system. And they won't push through it because it is uncomfortable right? It's designed to be uncomfortable because it's designed to keep you within, within the matrix, it's designed to keep you in this smaller starfish entity, energy entity, body, the little starfish body, rather than being the whole cosmos. So, and then beautifully cancer, what's coming out at the end here, these beautiful animal cards, the bee at the center being you surrounded by the nightingale and the seahorse spirit, right? Um, and they both seem to be, and it's funny because I was just talking about that. I'm not going to sing. They seem to be just like blasting you with, with vibration, you know, sound vibration. Right. And it's coming in as this supporting energy. I'm talking about this. I was talking about this queen of air. Did I point out at the beginning of the reading, the owl here seems to be the support that you're supported that you're being supported through this process. So there's something here about this energy surrounding you that's supporting you. You know, this one talks about love is all around you. The, the, the seahorse, I was going to say horse fish, that, what that is. The seahorse in my other deck, in the good tarot deck, is holding a pearl and it's the ace of cups card. And so 
it represents unconditional love in the other deck. So when I see the seahorse, I see that energy. And then this love here, it's like you're being blasted with love vibration, surrounded with love vibration. And it's, it's interesting because the bee energy, I always say it's a multi-dimensional energy because, um, the bee defies physics. It shouldn't be able to fly, but it does. But it also there's all this, the bees are disappearing. Uh, everybody's concerned about the bees disappearing, but I'm always saying that I'm always thinking in reaction. It could just be because I'm always looking for the positive and I'm so reluctant to believe any negativity that when I hear that the bees are disappearing from this reality, from this planet, I think they're not disappearing, they're evolving and they're becoming multidimensional. And so they're still here. They're just unperceivable to us because they're up in the higher dimensions. They're vibrating higher. And so that's what's happening with you is you're starting to vibrate so high, so multidimensionally that you're, um, you know, you're lifting up and out of the sand. It's gorgeous because this, this bee looks to me because it's got the, the hive around it and behind it, like a, one of those sand sifting tools that kids bring to the beach. So it's like you're being scooped up by these gorgeous, um, supporting, loving energies and all of the crap is being sifted away. And what's emerging up and out is your gorgeous multidimensional cosmic self up and out, up and out of the, of this weighted, of this weightedness. Um, but like I said, on the way up and out, it, you go, there is a phase that you go through that feels really yucky and, cl and you feel really, um, closed in. It's like your reality is closing in around you. You're feeling almost claustrophobic, right? So it seems like this is what's going on for you, Cancer, either right now or about to. And you're being, you're being vibrated up and out into this absolute purity and clarity. It's absolutely gorgeous. Is there anything else to say here with these cards? I think that's it for now. I'm going to I'm going to pull some more cards and create an extended if you're interested in that, Cancer. Um the link is in the description box and if not, I will see you next time. I don't know why I feel like there's something else. I guess not. I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to pull more cards and get more clarity through those. So, um if I if not in the extended, I'll see you next time, Cancer. Thanks. Bye.